Arena 4D add-in for SolidWorks slices. So first thing you need to do is load a point cloud or point clouds, doesn't matter how many you have. Click the slices tab and you can see we have no slices. So first thing I'm going to do is show you um, here that we have the option slice from plane. So I'm going to select top, you can see it's highlighted here. Select, uh, if you hover the mouse, there is a hot tip, so slice from plane. And as you can see, uh, if I just select the slice there, you can see I can move up and down or forwards and backwards slice through that point cloud. So it's like an intersection of the point cloud. A um, few options here, enable, simple off and on. You can only have one slice enabled at a time, but it doesn't let you do that wrong. Lock locks the point cloud, uh, the slice in position. Change the color. So if I select the last component here, which is highlight, you can see I can change the color. Turn highlight off. You can change the name, make it more meaningful if you wish. Um, you could say top plane or top slice. The whip step, which are units um, that you're currently working in within SolidWorks. So we have a whip of one here. So we have a meter. I could change that to half a meter. So it's half a meter slice. And step is currently one meter. So if I put that to half, you will see that as I step forwards and backwards or up and down through the slice, its jump movement is much smaller. So if I put that back to one, it's quite self explanatory, really. It's very simple. And we're now jumping twice the size because it's one meter. If I select a different plane, same operation, slice from plane. Here we have a um, perfect slice there, which I can move. Select it first, move forwards and backwards through. Very simple, same as the other operation. So I just swap, click on the first one, you'll see it unticks. Second one, very simple. Once you have a slice, there's some other features that you can perform which are very powerful. So if I select here, first thing you need to do though is just make sure we have. 3D sketch on and I'm going to square me up here so here we have our slice position yourself the best you can and get the screen get the the point cloud here or the slice of the point cloud as big as you can on the screen and there's two options there's vector and outline if I click vector very quick process. As you can see, it's actually drawn some native lines uh, to SolidWorks here around the middle of the, the selection there of the slice. So of the point cloud you can see, it's tried to draw to enable you to do some of your engineering work. Uh, just removed the, uh, the result there. So now we're going to perform the outline. So the process is the same as before. Um, get squared up to the slice here, which was as simple as selecting here, uh, big as you can, and click the outline option. So again, very quickly, you'll see it's produced um, its own native SolidWorks vectors here around the outline of the point cloud. So the vector one was tried to be generally centered around the point cloud through the slice and the outline is as it says the outline so as before I've removed all those native um, vector lines there and other options we have here is uh, to position a slice so what you can do is position a slice instead of moving manually up and down or forwards and backwards so select the slice Click position slice, select where you would like the slice to be. If we then enable that slice, you can see where it is. It's now moved to where we are about halfway through the building. So I'll show it one more time. So we're around halfway through the building. If I highlight that, you can see it here. Position slice, select near the top, turn the slice on. Um, as you can see, 
we're now at the top of the building. So one more time, position slice around the bottom. As you can see, we're now sliced towards the bottom. Very quick and powerful way of moving slices. Here we have the last option, which is plane from slice, which will create a SOLIDWORKS plane based on the currently active slice. If you wish to remove slices, you can select it, click minus, use the shift key, which is standard like Windows Explorer usage, select more than one, click minus, and they are all gone.